Well, tomorrow marks one year since the Taliban retook control of Afghanistan amid a chaotic U.S. exit. And when troops left, it was marked by two weeks of mayhem. Kabul's fall to the Taliban shocked the world, forcing thousands to flee their homes. But for those who were not able to flee, life has been unimaginably hard. The United Nations estimates that more than 3.7 million children are out of schools in Afghanistan, roughly 60 percent of them girls. That is leaving families no choice but to teach their children in their homes. And education is not the only challenge young girls in the country are facing as the Taliban looks for new ways to restrict the rights of women and young girls, forcing them to cover up from head to toe in public. The age for marriage also continues to be significantly young for girls in that country, with 17 percent being married before their 15th birthday. And joining me now to take a closer look at the particular struggles of women and girls under Taliban rule is Najia Nassim, executive director of Women for Afghan women. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Natasha. Thank can, you. Can you start by telling us what life is like for women in Afghanistan right now with the Taliban in control and how does that compare with the freedoms that they enjoyed prior to U.S. withdrawal? Uh, uh, since the takeover of Afghanistan uh, a year before, uh, it, it has been quite dramatic changes for Afghan women and, and, and girls in Afghanistan. Uh, so there are a lot of challenges. Is is uh, uh, of course like a number one challenge is like when we when we go like to education, uh, uh, women and, and girls in most part of Afghanistan they cannot go to school after class six, and and uh, uh, in addition to that, uh, like uh, there are a lot of limitations for women to work. Thousands of women they have lost their jobs, and, and uh, uh, the restrictions are uh, is, is day by day it's increasing. Uh, so compared to the uh, a year before, uh, and, and uh, right now a year with, with every day more limitation, it, it's quite a lot of challenges for women for education to work, and, and access to uh, legal and, and counseling services. So it's a kind of like a challenging and hard life for women in Afghanistan. I mean, really all parts of life we're talking about. And earlier we were looking at video of protests, and I'm really struck by the bravery of so many of these women. We know just this weekend, women there staged a protest over their rights being infringed upon, and that protest resulted in the Taliban forces opening fire, shooting over their heads. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the bravery of some of the women left behind there, and uh, how regular of an occurrence is it uh, for women who are trying to advocate for their freedom there? Uh, uh, I believe Afghan women have been strong uh, uh, in, in, in all uh, uh, the, uh, the history in Afghanistan. So they have proved themselves uh, to, to stand uh, against all uh, uh, those, uh, 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 to, to stand against if there is like their rights are violated. And, and uh, that bravery of Afghan women in Afghanistan, that they are right now living there, and, and th 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 that's great. That's a great example uh, to show to the world that it is like what is taken from Afghan women, they don't want that. So it's all like imposed on them. And they stand themselves for their rights. If people here in the United States want to help, I mean, it is it is so hard to look at the situation that's unfolding there uh, and, and a feeling of hopelessness and not knowing what to do. What would you recommend? What can people do if they want to help? Uh, 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 I suggest like Afghanistan should not be forgotten. Afghan women should not be forgotten. They stand uh, for their rights and they should be supported. They should be held by the international community and by the by, uh, U.S. and putting more pressure on the uh, de facto government uh, authorities uh, to recognize women's rights, to provide more financial support for uh, women-led uh, uh, organization in Afghanistan and also like to, 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 to put basically pressure that the, the, the rights of Afghan women are recognized. Uh, Najia Nassim, I, I, I hear you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Well, trading a WNBA play. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.